Things are not going to be the same after you see this video. Major life changes happening. You got to take the right approach to this so that you don't get uh, blindsided. So let's just dive right in. I have the cards right here in front of me. If you don't know me, I'm Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. Thank you so much for being here. So right away we have life review. Okay. This isn't a bad thing. This uh, is Archangel Jeremiah who helps with life review and helping you Figure out the lessons you've already learned so you don't repeat them. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. This card, from the moment you see this video, is all about taking accountability for your existence. So if you don't like how things are going, you're making a change. Now, with everything going on in the world, it can feel like we don't have enough energy, enough strength to come through that, but this is definitely a moment where you're stopping and going, does this make me happy? Is this how I want to carry forward? Now, when we're talking about accountability, we have the writing card here. This talks about journaling. Let me just read it to you. It's Archangel Gabriel. Okay. So Gabriel's all about nurturing yourself, crafting the next chapter of your life, giving birth to a new situation. Make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or book. Now, for some of you, this might literally be you writing a book or an article. That's awesome. But this, uh, with all the other cards, is asking you to look for a pattern. Where do you have certain trends going on in your life? Now, let's talk about something that's incredibly toxic and really wrong. I said it. Really wrong. <sighs> If you have been in abusive situations and someone says to you, what's the common denominator? It's you. It doesn't mean that like they're trying to make it sound like it's your fault that you're getting abused. But there is something there for you to take control of, to heal, to nurture yourself through, okay, so that you don't attract in those kinds of people. So writing in a journal is going to help you you know, go back and be able to see the pattern and be able to reach out and get help. Again, heal it, whatever it is, so that you don't have to keep just spinning your wheels, right? This whole time after you see this video is all about, let me take a minute. Let me just stop everything. <laughs> What's going on here? And this also, you know, creative writing, the Gabriel card is about expression, so not being afraid to give your opinion because there's going to be backlash on social media because certain people are not going to agree with you or they're going to threaten you with, you know, I'm not going to follow you anymore. But coming out and actually saying what you got to say and being you, this is an imperative time to be doing that. Then we have brilliant idea Archangel Uriel. So Uriel is all about strength through wisdom. Okay, so there's something through all this self-exploration, through all of this uh, you know, just sitting in peace and quiet for a second, you're allowing all of these epiphanies to come on up to the surface. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. Now, people who are watching this video who are so uh, surface minded, okay, it's always about the, the 3D world for you. You're going to miss the point here. You're going to miss the far, you know, deeper message that is happening. It's not about you going and being famous and writing a book. It's not about, I've heard this so many times where people want to go off and write their memoir. Like they haven't, like they just have a life like everybody else, but they think that they're so special and so important that they need their memoirs heard. <laughs> like That's not exactly what we're talking about here. The brilliant idea is the epiphany of I'm not powerless or I see the pattern here. You know, I, I was so desperate for love and I kept putting it out there. And so I was attracting in this or that, you know, what have you, whatever the situation is. So it's understanding. It's a breakthrough. Okay. It's a sudden realization of what, you know, what some patterns are. But not only that, it's a sudden realization of, I want to say what you put up with, but let me go further than that. It's looking around and seeing who are my real friends and who are the haters. I heard somebody on social media say, um, you know, a clear sign of a hater is somebody every time you post something on social media, they make sure they do not comment or they do not, you know, they just act like you're not there. Or especially if you have an accomplishment or something like that, like they don't, you know. Now, I don't comment 
for people in my life on things on social media because they are toxic people. I can't really do anything about that, but I don't have to support, you know, their constant need for attention. So it's really, you got to be discerning about this. This would be the kind of thing if you're like, hey guys, I just started this new thing. And people who are supposed to be closest to you don't say congratulations or, hey, I'm so proud of you or, oh, good for you. I know you've been wanting to do that for a while, but they stay silent. And then later on, they're like, yeah, I saw it. (laughs) Careful with that. But then we have clear your space. Archangel Jophiel, get rid of clutter, clear the energy around you and use feng shui. You would not believe how much your home (laughs) has to do with what you're manifesting. Absolutely. I am currently going through my home. I just cleaned out my closet. I probably got rid of like half of my wardrobe and I feel so good. I feel so good. But then I started going around my home and I really started looking at objects that I had there. I have this signed audiobook thing from, well, at the time it was Random House, but now Penguin Random House and it's signed by Bill Clinton and it was on my bookshelf. That was given to me years ago and it's just been sitting there and I don't want it. (laughs) I don't want it. Uh, Yeah. So like that's an example or like gifts that people who were very abusive, backstabbing people who gave me a little gift when I was leaving my last company. I'm like, why is that just sitting there? Get rid of it. I found a veil. It's a little cage veil that I had uh, from when I was engaged and was supposed to get married. Uh, I was saved from that. I never did get married. Uh, This person was dark, okay? And I'm so glad that I didn't (laughs) didn't go there. But I had this stuff still sitting around. I'm like, there's the energy of my memories there. Now, you might be saying, well, if you take that and you pass that along, aren't you passing along that energy? I don't think so. I think when you are, you know, like the B saga, that's a little bit different. Get rid of it. Don't because we don't even want that word out there anymore. But when it comes to something like the veil, okay, the cage veil that I have, that has a meaning to me. But when I give it, and I give it with the intention of love, and that it'll bring someone else enjoyment and use, they can use it, uh, I think that changes the energy around that object. And I've done that plenty of times where I've gifted like jewelry from that relationship. Yes, I have a negative connotation with it, but gifting it, all they're going to remember is, oh, this time I got this beautiful piece of jewelry, you know, like <laughs> passed along to me. So, you know, go around your home and see, um, you know, what's hanging around from a past relationship or a painful experience. Uh, I have, and, and it could be really subtle. I had these little votive candle holders and they're just sitting there. They're pretty, but I'm just so used to looking at them. I don't even get enjoyment out of them anymore. And I was like, when did I buy those? When did I get those? And I remember I, I purchased those for a live event I was having with someone who ended up being a terrible backstabbing friend who has a personality disorder. And uh, as soon as I put those things in a bag, something shifted. Now, They're beautiful and someone's going to be really happy to have those. They're going to see it as like a find, right, at the thrift store. But that's wonderful. They don't bring me happiness. They're bringing somebody else happiness, right? So clear your space is not only energetic, but go around your home. And let me tell you this too, because there are sneaky little things. I had kept, I had lived with my fiance and uh, when when I split from that fiance and I moved into my own home, I had taken, uh, obviously, my stuff, but I took my bedding with me. And for years, I realized that I was still using a pillow (laughs) that I had when I was in the relationship with him. Now, you don't have to take it that far, but I just didn't like it. So I got rid of it, and I suddenly started having better dreams. Again, maybe I'm just weird. Could be. I don't know. But um, I think it really is very individual. If you, like, when I saw that pillow and I realized, ew, that's from that relationship. Ew. Okay, I had I had the ew, so I had to throw it away. <laughs> I had to get rid of it uh, and replace it. So that's what this is. But also clear up some of those old energetic patterns, those things that you keep repeating. What happens then? Serendipity. Look at that. Your life is trying to come to you. <laughs> the bright ideas are trying to come to you, but we hang on to old situations 
memories, old items, you know, you know, if you have, if you're somebody who does tend to hoard things, especially these days in the past few years, people have been so afraid of being without that maybe we felt like we have to hang on to things. Think about this. Think about what may be hanging in your closet that could keep somebody else warm. Or think about, you know, the artist that is going thrifting because they're looking for objects that they can turn into art. My, my stuff's just sitting here. I'm not doing anything with it. I don't even see it anymore because I'm so used to it. Pass it on. Okay? Pass it on. So this is what's happening. It's like a huge stop. Take charge of your life, not in a mental way, but just knowing it's time to cleanse. It's time to detoxify. It's time to get rid of old reminders of things that bring you pain. Okay? So if you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website, angelsouls444.com. And of course, always check out the description box because I do live events. So you can get your tickets for that. Thank you all so much for being here. I send you all so much love and take care. Mm -hmm.